Hi, I'm Dawn Monroe. Today I wanted to show you some tricks with uh, utilizing dates in Excel. And sometimes we download from another system, another database, and your dates come in really strange. In this case, I've got a date that is coming in as text. And I can tell it's text here. It's showing up as the general format. And if I try to change it to date here, I, I'm changing it to date, but it doesn't seem to recognize it when I start to do other things with uh, dates. And so that can be really frustrating. Um, what I'm going to show you here is how you can use the data tab and go text to columns. I'll show you a couple things here. If you wanted to split this out into the month, day, year, uh, into separate columns, you could do that. And so sometimes you'll want to, to take it and, um, and pull it apart like that. So there's the year and the month and the day. And this would actually break it into separate columns. And then I can pick the date format here. You know, how do I want um, that to appear? And so if I do it like this, I'm actually going to get all these columns. So I'm putting my destination as another location. So, I, um, so I'm, I'm breaking it out like that. But that's not really very productive. Probably what you want is more like this. Let's take that same date, text to columns, um, leave it on delimited. Instead of saying that you've got um, some kind of break or spacing between it, I'm just going to go on to next and I'm going to change the date into what I would say would be more typical for me, month, day, year format. And let's tell it to put it over here in column G for us. So let's see what that looks like. That's it. So if you have uh, a date coming in as text, you can um, try some different things. Also, I want you to note that that's now in the date format. This will work for your pivot tables and other things where you need to be sorting and organizing by date. And uh, this should solve a lot of problems for you. All right, so hope that helps. Have a good one.